Hey, welcome back to Bayard Squared. In this video, we're going to be talking about gradient. Coming up. So let's look at two lines then, line one and line two. So Jason thinks that line two is steeper because line two rises seven units vertically, whereas line one only rises six units. In mathematics, when we talk about gradient, we're referring to the steepness of a line. So here's a couple of questions that we need to ask ourselves. Is Jason correct? Which line do you think is steeper? What does it mean to say that one line is steeper than another? How can we measure the steepness of a line? So in this video, we're going to be answering these three inquiries and more. So first thing first, steepness is a measure of gradient. And gradient is the vertical step divided by the horizontal step. So if you look back at line 1 and line 2, line 1 has a vertical step of 6 units and a horizontal step of 3 units. That gives us a gradient of 2. Line 2 has um, a vertical step of 7 units and a horizontal step of 4 units, which gives us a gradient of 1.75. So since 2 is greater than 1.75, line 1 is technically steeper. Right, moving on. So a couple of definitions then. An upward sloping line has a positive gradient. So if we have a line going upwards, we have a positive gradient. Whenever we have a downward sloping line, we have a negative gradient. If we have a horizontal line, like the one shown here, then the vertical step is 0 and the gradient is equal to 0. And finally, if we have a vertical line like the one shown here, then the horizontal step is zero, and hence the gradient is undefined. So you might want to pause the video here and jot these into your book, because these are really quite important notes for you to understand how to define a gradient. So let's look at an example that I did in my previous video, where Maz went to the petrol station to fill up his car. Um, X was the time taken, and Y was the amount of litres that Maz filled in the car's petrol tank. Now we can find the gradient of this linear relationship by doing the vertical step divided by the horizontal step. So if we look at the graph, the vertical step from 10 to 70 is 60, and the horizontal step from 0 minutes to 4 minutes is, is 4 minutes. So what we can do then is we can say 60 divided by 4, which gives us a gradient of 15. Now we have to ask ourselves, what does that actually represent? Well, in this real life application then, it means that there's 15 litres of petrol that are filled in, in the car's petrol tank every minute. That's the rate of change. So the gradient here represents the rate of change, which is essentially the vertical step divided by the horizontal step. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use a formula to work out the gradient. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one.